like to make a br uh, bracelets in two different ways. One is from rubber bands and two is from string and beads. So let's see how it's done. Okay guys, the first way I'm going to be showing you how to make it is with some beads. So I have a lot of beads in here and I'm going to be using them. And if you want, I can show you guys a tutorial on uh, making your own beads. So leave a comment down below if you want me to. Okay guys, I cut out a little string of my wrist. It's in the enough size of my wrist, but a little bit more bigger. So once you've gotten that, uh, you want to tie like a little knot right there to the end of your string. Right there, so the beads don't fall off. So I can show you guys how to make your own beads if you want me to. And just leave a comment down in the comment uh comments below if you want me to and it's not going to be the same beads but like different kinds of beads it's going to be like a different type so make sure you make a really big knot so it doesn't um like fall down still yeah like that i'm sorry guys if you're having trouble to see but i made like a big knot yeah right there yeah so now you want to take your beads uh i have a few different kinds of beads and i will pick them out okay guys i have picked my pattern and these are really cute and really pastel -y, and i just love the color of them and uh so once you are done tying it over here and then uh, putting in your beads, you want to tie it over here. So you want, you're going to take it inside from here. So you can't just tie it over there or then it will fall off. So I have this butterfly as my last bead. It's The camera's blurring up, but that's my butterfly bead. And over it, I'm going to tie it right there. So right in there. Yep, got it. Right there, so it goes over the butterfly bead. As you can see, it's trapped in there. Right there. Now tie it more than once, so it's really secure. Okay. Oh, sorry guys, the camera's really blurring up. Okay guys, once I've uh, tied it like two to three times and you think it's really secure, um, I finally have a little bracelet. And if you want, you could just leave it like this and tie it on your book bag right here on one of the sides. and uh, you Or you could tie it together. I'm going to tie it together to make a bracelet. And I've already like tested my, like put it on my hand to test if it uh, fits or not. And it fits. So just need to tie this on here. It's really hard tying these because the thread is really slippery. And if it was like, if it wasn't plastic and it was like real, like thread, thread, it would have been easier. But this is plastic and it's like slipping out really a lot. Ah. Uh. Okay, guys, I finally tied it around. It's the cutest bracelet ever. So what do you guys think of it? Do you like it? Okay, now moving on to the next bracelet type, which is the rubber band bracelets. So I'm going to be making some bracelets with these rubber bands. And uh, you could buy these anywhere, or you could just use regular rubber bands. Uh, that you find in any kind of shop and I have two different kinds but they're pretty much the same thing I have it in two different bags it's time to dump three two one oh it's already dumped but I have some colorful bands and you also need these s clips or you could just use some thread to tie it around and I'll show you how uh, and here's, I have a charm in here, and I have, like, uh, like 
bracelets. So this will be the type of bracelet we will be making. This is how it will be. And this is an S clip. It just puts them together like that. Yeah, so let's make them. And at first I have to jump this too. Whee! So many. Actually, this might look like so many, but it's really not. Okay. So, first, the first thing you need to do is pick what uh, colors you want it to be. So, I'm gonna put in this charm to, in here. And since my name is Smiley, I need to have a Smiley charm, right? I mean, come on, I'm going to make uh, something to the theme of this, yellow and red, or maybe just yellow. Oh, no, actually yellow and white. I think that's better. I have a few whites laying around, and, f okay, for my length, it's probably going to be like 11 to 15 rubber bands. We'll see. Okay, guys, to make the bracelet you want, you have to take a rubber band you want to start with. This will be your first rubber band, um, and you have to put it on one finger like this, twist it, and put it on the other, just like this, and you'll see like a little twist. Okay, guys, sorry for all the noise. So you're gonna need like a, like you're gonna put it like this and have a little twist in the middle, like this, like a little twist right there, and take your white, uh, like whatever color is next, and put it on top. Oh, it's really blurry. One sec. Like this. Take your other one, put it on top, like this. And then take your next color, Put it on the top, don't twist it, and just keep going like this. It took me like 13 uh, rubber bands to finish it. And um, so what you want to do to like put it, once you're done, you want to put this one on one of your finger like this. Just like this. And put an S clip on it. So this is how the S clip looks like. Okay guys, this is how the S clip looks like. It's in the shape of an S and so put the S clip, like hook it on here, like that. And then take your last end, stretch it out and put hook it on here too. Like this. And there you go, your bracelet. And now I'll show you how to put this charm on if you have any. First, you need to open this up if it's closed, you see. Ugh. Okay, guys, once you've opened your charm a little, grab the bracelet. I know this is looking really small for me, like, from here, but it's actually the perfect size since they stretch a lot and it's not really uh, tight at all for me. So get the middle uh, rubber band, which is, for me, it is it is uh, this one right there, this uh, yellow one. So get this and open this up like this. Hold it on both of your fingers and then loop it through the little uh, gab you made. Right, like that. And then close it back up. There we go. And stretch it out a little so um, the rubber band goes back into place. And you have your bracelet. I'll put it on. And show you guys. And this is the bracelet. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Gotta fix it.
Yeah. So, guys, what do you think of my bracelet? Do you like these two ideas to make a bracelet? I hope you guys really did. So... Okay, guys, these are my two bracelet DIYs. I hope you guys really enjoyed it, and it was really fun to make for me. I hope you really liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And if you really, if you want me to make a DIY bead, a bead DIY, then please comment down below. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Our channel. Bye!